TGL7. Today we have another special episode with uh, my man, um, the one and only Christopher Leon Johnson. What's up, bro? What's up, man? Happy up? Sunday, everybody. Happy Sunday evening. Uh, I had a busy day. DJ had a busy day. You know, we was holding it down up in UN Plaza. I don't think it's a real plaza, but they called it UN Plaza because of the, the free speech reasons. Uh, so today we was at the, um, what is it, the Humanity Rally? I don't even know what it is, and I don't even care. Yeah, it was a, that, though, um, I know that you had some drama that happened. I know you said they want to start off with, uh, you Oh, know, yeah, I want to start it off because I don't want people to say, like, yo, you dodging, you dodging situation, this, this, and that. So I'm going to break this down to people right now that this past Thursday, you know, I <clears throat> did something that was out of my character, and I'm explaining to guys what happened. So there's a situation that I really care about with the whole Ligia, with uh, with this whole like minimum wage stuff and the e-bike stuff. So I'm targeting an organization that's called the Worker Justice Project because they're the main ones that's pushing the e-bike stuff and then they're pushing the minimum wage. So what happened recently was I did some research and I found out that it was a, a group that was down with, that was against Ligia's organization because they feel that if the minimum wage hits, that they will be... Can I, can, I hmm? can I slow you down for a second? Yeah. Okay. The thing is that um, some of the things that I feel like my audience, even myself, don't really know about, right? Yeah, you said the e-bike stuff. I'm not sure what the e-bike like, stuff is. So what's is. going on is like, it's a lot of e-bike yeah. laws that they're trying to push. Like, they, I think it's like it's been signed by like with NYCHA buildings and regulated e-bike batteries and stuff like that, like the big fat ones. Um, I know yourself, DJ, you have your, your opinions about it. You might be for it, and I understand that, and I respect your opinions about that. Um, and I'm so not here to... I mean, you're just trying to, like, get more... I mean, it doesn't... I don't know if there's a specific one or there's a specific series, but you're just talking about, like, more regulation of e-bikes that are causing fires. Yeah. So that's my that's my fight. So, like I said... So with minimum wage, I think a lot of people hear, like, oh, you're fighting minimum wage. What does that mean? What, yeah. what does it mean for living workers minimum wage? What is that? So, like I said before, I mean, going forward with this minimum wage, what's going on is the city the city has completely passed a law, um, which will require all the applications like Uber, DoorDash, and um, Grubhub, a relay, to start paying the deliveristas, I mean, people that deliver food, minimum wage. The mayor signed it as law. It was supposed to be as uh, at law as of July 12th of last month. But what happened was Uber and DoorDash sued the city of New York. Which really, which really means the Department of Workers Consumer Protection. They sued the DWCP, and then they went to court and they got a temporary restraining order. So, which means right now is the judge put a temporary restraining order. Means that the law that supposed to be struck, uh, supposed to uh, be in effect on the twelfth of last month, can't be in effect because the judge put a restraint, a temporary restraining order on the, on the, on the law. So, because okay. of, actually, I'm just jumping. Just like, okay. So the thing about the minimum wage is I think that most people who are watching will be like, they're going to hear about minimum wage and they feel supportive of it, and I get that. But in this case, right, uh, what I actually watched on Christopher Leon Johnson's channel, once again, I would just uh, encourage you to go down into the featured uh, channels and just, you know, subscribe to his channel. If you watch, there's a guy from, uh, a delivery guy, who actually, he was at a protest, but he says that their minimum wage doesn't start until they get the assignment and they go out. So they could be sitting there waiting for a job to come in and not getting paid and they could make right actually sub minimum wage. I think that was his claim or something like that. So or he said that somehow they would be reduced, right? It could be reductionary. So right, he said sometimes you could make more money. So there was like some issues that so when we talk about minimum wage here, it's like, you know, it's not that we're trying to get rid of minimum wage, right? Or like, you know, hurt these drivers pay, right? Yeah, we're trying to help them. That's the idea, right? Just want to make I just want to make my audience clear on that. Yeah, so going forward, yeah, like I said, so the minimum wage, like, what would happen, like, if the city it became low with no, with no lawsuit, the Larissa would be forced to be paying, I think it was, like, $19 an hour, 1996. It, I think it was $1996 an hour they was going to get paid. But now people people might think that it, it will look good on paper. Yeah, it does look good on paper. And the one thing I agree, it does look good on paper. But what I don't agree, and, and what I found out through the other guys, is that majority of the deliveristas in New York City are undocumented. Now, what's undocumented means that they not really legally they're not, they're not supposed to be here. And I'm gonna break this down right now. I'm gonna say this right now before people say, "Oh, well, you're being xenophobic." You want no, no, I am not xenophobic at all. 
I am not a xenophobe. I don't believe in, in, in closing the border. I don't believe in that racist stuff. I don't believe any of that, that, that white supremacist like rhetoric. I don't believe in that type of stuff. That's not me. That's not my heart. Um, so let's break. I'm going to kill that right here before anybody try to say I'm being xenophobic. I'm not, I'm far from xenophobic. Uh, because if I was xenophobic, I wouldn't be, would be fighting for those guys, um, helping those guys out. And this is gonna get later later on in this segment of what what happened, and it's what I have to make we we start we had to start with the show. Um, so majority of those guys are undocumented, and like I said, if the law came into effect, yeah, Uber be forced to pay people minimum wage because that'll be the law. Now Uber and DoorDash and, and all these other big time applications like Lyft and um, DoorDash and Grubhub. They don't want to. They're not going to take a pay cut to pay people minimum wage. So what do you think you're going to do to make sure they don't take a big pay cut or take any losses? They're going to start making those guys do e-verify. They're going to start making those guys do um, uh, I nines, which means that they have to show documents. They have to show papers to prove that they could work in America. And we all know those guys don't have it. We have a migrant crisis going on in the United States of America, especially in New York City. It's hard to get these work permits for these guys, and I don't think even they get the work permits, the guys that are doing the, that's going to be affected by this minimum wage law in New York City are going to be get being get first dibs with the with the papers if they're able to get seventy thousand papers, they won't be getting no first dibs. It will be the people that are coming from the the new new migrants that we have to deal with right now. But that's different. That's a different kind of a uh, uh, thing I want. I can get into later on in the show if you want me to, because we have a, another topic we want to talk about, but. So that was my issue, and that will always be my issue. Now, a second thing, which was my issue, and I think these guys brought it to my attention, and I did some research, I was like, oh, yeah, the, I, this guy that came to my attention too was the executive director, Liga Galapia, is not disclosing her, I'm, I'm sorry, dis, disclosing her, uh, her, her pay. She don't want to be transparent of, like, how much she's getting paid and how much the money that... She's getting it from the foundations and the donors and the, and the government money, and and she's not being transparent of what she's doing with that money. And those guys been asking her like what they what she's been doing with that money. And I was being being questioned about that. I brought up a bit and I got blocked by her. I got blocked by the organization, and I'm not mad because, like I said, I'm not gonna be ashamed of. Asking, asking the hard questions. As you see, I like to ask the hard that's questions. Not a good sign that she's blocking. Actually, um, you know, if she had some answer, you know, it's better than nothing. It's yeah, actually, uh, yeah. But... You have to see. I mean, it might be, it might be either way, but it's worthy of investigation. As a, you know, if they receive public funds in some way, that they should, there should be some transparency. Yeah, there should be some transparency, and that's all I wanted, and that's all these guys wanted. Now, going forward to Thursday, now, this is where it all built, huh? G5-1-C-3? Technically, they are not. I think they are. No, no, no. I, I think they are sub to a 5-1-C-3. What's going on is people got to be, be educating people right now. And I, like I said, I hope you tag her on Twitter and I hope she watches because we're going to kick off the show the first about eight minutes of the show with this. I hope she could watch this and make and give a response because, I mean, it's something I, I have to break down later on the show uh, before we kill this segment. And, um... So, she, her organization, Working Towards Project, is being financed by the third sector in New England. The city council, the state assembly, and the state senate, and the, and the federal government will give all the money to third sector New England, and then third sector New England will give that money to them. Now, how I know that was, if you go on the Act Blue, let's say you go on their website right now, and you search up Worker Justice Project on Google, Worker Justice Project, because there's another organization that's called the Worker Justice Group, but there's two different organizations, but the group you got to look for is called the Worker Justice Project. They're based at 395 Broadway in Williamsburg, which is Jennifer Gutierrez District, and then they have another office. I just found out recently that they have in 4112 4th Avenue, which is based in Sunset Park, which is Alexa Vila's district. So she, they have two offices, but you can click on the website, and then let's click Donate. And then when you click donate, it'll be like some like some nice old um, graphic of saying if you donate twenty five, you do this. You donate a hundred dollars, you can do this. Yeah. So we don't. Uh, you see guys right now on the screen share. We go screen share. Yeah. You go work just as fun. That's what it is. You go. You scroll all the way down. You see the graphic. Nice graphic they put. Now lie. Okay. Yeah. You go all the way down. You could pay credit card, Venmo, PayPal, Google Pay. I could be active. Wow. Cool. 
Oh, so go all the way down. We should go scroll all the way down, guys. Please scroll all the way down. And you go look at the down. bottom and you see said, look, the Work Thirst Project is total is fiascally sponsored by Thirst at New England, T S N P. T S N N E E T S N E is a qualified five hundred one C three tax exempt organization and donations are tax deductible to the full extent under the um under the law. So so you look at Thirst at New England, they're based in Boston, they have a tax ID. Oh wow! You looked it up too. Great. Yeah, I okay, looked it yeah. up too. And they get they get the the city council will give them government funding. Now, if you can Google, that's what they based in New England, and Worker Justice Project is one of their organizations that they tout on their website. This is the research that I did. Now, going forward, if you go on the city council web, put put Google city council expenses. If you can. I'm doing it now. You see it? You see it here? Yeah, see Google City Council expenses. I did. Do you see it? No, I don't see it. Okay, I'll, I have to. I'll change the sharing. Hold up. So we gotta do this because this is the reason why we, we, you know we're going forward to this segment of why you know um, yeah. So click expense funding if you can. Have you seen my video on Hunter College? No. Huh? Have you seen my video on Hunter College? Yeah, I saw it. Oh, you have? Like, yeah, I saw the girl the being the girl being accused of something, and she wanted to retract the lawsuit, something like that. Yeah, I saw that. No, there's another one. Oh, there's another oh, one. There's oh, another yeah. one. I go through the books of Hunter College and show administrators using the cell phone, getting a cell phone paid for, and going on vacation trips and stuff. Yeah, so you could paste it into the, the box as organization organization names, or you could paste it. Could pop up. Paste. No, don't get to click it. Go in the box, the bar, where it says organization name. You can paste it. Yeah. Try to paste what you did. What did I put in there? Just the say, copy the, like, yeah, paste it. And then search it. Okay. Now, it's loading right now. You see it's loading. It's loading. Still loading. No, that's, uh, that's, all right, that's so what you do. Just yeah. put third sector. Okay. And then just click search, because I know it's on there. That's 224. I'll also go back to 2023. So you see, oh, they sure. get a lot of government funding. Now you see, guys, one of the biggest numbers they have is a million dollars. So they get over millions of dollars from the city council, in which, in return, the Third Set New England will give money to Third Set to, to the Worker Justice Project. That's all going to Worker Justice Project. Uh, recently, Shaker Kirsten had one, had a, a bike give a bike tune up. Um, you know, it's a lot of people. Kaban did one, Shahana Anit did one, Lincoln Russell did one. It's a lot of, I mean, like I said, like, this is the research that I did. So people can't say I was lying about the research. This is the research that I did with the help of the other guys that's against the org, with, against her, who is called Repardados de Guerrera. So that's the research that I did. So going forward to so third. How much money the organization, how much, so yeah, Kaban got $5,000. How much do you think that this lady got? Probably about 5K? Yeah, she gave the money. She gave 5K to the organization. But I think... Oh, been 10K. Lee's got 10. Nurse got 20. Why is Nurse getting so much? I don't know why she's getting so much. Is that Sandy Nurse? Yeah, Sandy Nurse. Yep, Sandy Nurse. Sandy, Sandy Nurse. Oh, she's, caked, she's caked up the most. Yeah. So, as you see there, that's the research that I did, guys. That's the research that I did before this went down. So I interviewed, so I'm the one main guys, I'm in it right now. I was one of the main people that helped set everything up with the, with the, with the confrontation. I'm the, I was the main one. Why would that, nurse huh? get more than Kaban? Yeah. Maybe she's the organization. Yeah. So going forward, I mean, so going forward to what happened on Thursday, Thursday was the first day of the oral arguments of the lawsuit. So they had a, I told them, I said, yo, Thursday, mostly going to go down, come out there and, and see what the hell's going on. I that told a lawsuit? Yeah, there's a lawsuit. There's a lawsuit right now, but they're going to make, the judge going to make, gonna make a decision in 30, within 30 days about, will he put an injunction on the, on the restraining order? Well, we got to do legal stuff. So oh, okay. Thursday, this past Thursday, this is why I got to talk about this right now. This past Thursday, um, okay. myself, one of the guys named... Octavio, we was out there and we, you know, we wanted answers. So we saw a few people from there and then they had security. Like, 
we'll we'll get into the, our next segment. They ask security. They actually hire security for. I don't know why they hire security for us. They hire some three linebacker looking security guards, and they was guarding the event. They had the they had the rally, and uh, they had the rally, and we heckled it. And after that, it was done. Then we saw Ligio walk up the stairs to the courthouse. We heckled her, and then that was my personal capacity. I did my press pass. My personal capacity. And then we went inside the courthouse, right? So we went inside the courthouse. We, we sat through the session from the start to the end. And then we went outside. We was waiting for Ligia. Now, my I have the video of it. Um, somebody called me up recently and said, yo, can you delete the video? Because it's just not going to look good for my part. And I did delete the video. Because that, that's the thing I'm, I'll talk about in a few. Somebody that respect called me up about this because it's got real controversy. Um... So we was waiting outside. I was acting a fool. He was acting a fool. We was we wanted we was acting like we wanted blood. We was acting like thugs. We was acting like the game bangers that that's waiting waiting for the enemy outside the court and we wanted to kill rip their head off. So I think the cops saw it, the security saw it, and the court officer saw it. So he let her go out through the back door. So one of the guys was down the corner by the top by the door. So he saw her walking out the door with her people. And then he said something in Spanish, and they all came out, and I came out, and we started chasing her. And I said something like I said I was acting like a thug, I was acting like a game banger, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie about that. You know, in the video, those people, even the video gets on nerve one day ever. I'm not gonna lie. I never. Hmm? I never maybe I'll, I hope I don't have to see that, but I never yeah, saw yeah. You but like that. I said, like I was acting like a fool. I was acting like I was acting like a, a goon. So we was out there. We was how we was asking where the, where the money going. Like we just confronted her. We was asking where the money is. Where is it at? Like what are you doing with the money? Why are you why are you why are you trying to get them fired? We was asking these questions. So my character that day, and I'm gonna admit this, that it was a bad look for me, because I love women. I love women. You know, I try not to use the word, the B word, or dense women, but I did. I did it. I said it multiple times. I was acting like a thug. I called her the B word multiple times. I called her, I called her every disgusting name in the book when we was, we was chasing her down the block. I was acting like a game banger. I was acting like a thug. I was acting like the people that I'm fight, I'm supposed to be fighting against. I was acting like that. I was acting like some immature 17 year old kid, but I'm 32. So I was acting like some little immature kid, you know, acting like a goon. So we was chasing her down the block. We was chasing her security. We was, we was heckling her. You know, my, I'm going to admit this right now. You know, I did make some threats. And, and, and like I said, I did make some threats say, yo, if you, if, I'm a, if, I, if, you, ever, if you ever have a, a bike tune event, we're going to fucking be there. We're going to be, we're going to fuck you up. I did say that on video. I'm not going to lie about that. Uh, I will not going to lie. So, huh? Not good, but yeah, it's not good. So I did say that. Now, I'm not gonna, but that's not really who you are, right? That's not who really I am, man. I think people know I'm not that type of dude. But that day, you know, I me, mean, I was acting, I was acting like a savage. I was acting like a goon. I was acting like, I was like one of the little, little black drill rappers and shit, um, being a, being an asshole. So like I said, oh. we, we I celebrated. Oh, 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 I had my adrenaline. We celebrated. We was like, yeah, we 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 ran that bitch out of Manhattan. We was I was acting like that. I was acting like a thug. I thought we had a victory. You know, we, we, we did have a little thing because we got this girl scared, you know, but I don't feel good about that because, like, the end of the day, that's not my character, guys. You know what I'm saying? That, that's not me at all. Like, that's not my character. You know what I mean? If the video ever gets unearthed one day or people try to use that against me, I'm going to say, look, you know, today is the 6th of April, August, right? And I'm going to say this right now, and I, I said this to a few people. I said, yo, if I, if I could apologize to her publicly or one-on-one -on -one as an adult, as a man, I'll do it. I'll do it any time, right? But that's not my character. And to all my people that support me out there, and to all my fans, to all my supporters, to my haters, that's not my character. You know, what I did was out of pocket. What I did was out of line. What I did was some ignorant shit. I was being an ignorant, uh, ignorant asshole. You know what I mean? I thought I was... Huh? Ask if you want to meet up. Huh? So you want to meet up. <laughs> yeah, man. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't have that conversation, of course. I mean, I'm trying to set. I'm trying to set things with some people right now about that, but I'm really to have that talk. You know, we could be. I mean, as a as a person, because that's not my character. You know, what I mean, what I did was wrong. What I did was wrong. Yeah, I wanted the answers. Yeah, I wanted this. I wanted the answers from Ligia, 
from her about what she's doing with the money and what she's doing with the situation, what she's doing with the money, and why she's trying to get these guys fired because she's not being transparent about about the about the minimum wage stuff and the papers and how the union dirt to BJ. The only reason they behind that because the the members they become members and they start paying dues, which make them more politically powerful. I get that. So you know, I think that um, you know, just on this issue itself. Uh, yeah, but I'm sorry. I want to let you finish. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like I said, make it more politically powerful. So, like I said, yeah, like I said, I apologize for that situation. Like I said, that's not my character. That's I apologize for that. I apologize for being a savage on, in the streets of New York. That's not me, man. Like, but that when I did that, that showed me a little bit. Like, yo, I had to. I like. I look back and people call me up saying, "Yo, yo, Chris, you fucked up." Like, yo, we understand that, yo, you wanted your answer from her. You, 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 you had the right to get the answer from her. But, yo, the way you, the way you went about it and the way you did the situation in the streets of New York was fucked up. That's embarrassing. And I was like, and I, I thought, I said it's like, yo, I fucked up. I had, I was embarrassed by the situation. But now, and when I, I said, yo, and then they told me like, yo, you know, she's a sister. She had like a sister and shit. She has a family, you know, she does this and that. And you know you got a sister, you got a niece. You know how you feel they it happened to them. And I was like, damn man, I fucked up. I mean, it fucked me up that Friday night. That they called me that Friday night. It fucked me up. To that Saturday morning when I was with my niece and she would say me some shit. I ain't even really want to pay her no mind because I was all fucked up by by the shit I heard from Friday night from somebody that I respect. You know because I didn't want to drag that person in that situation. So. It's just like the whole thing with everything. It's like, yo, I'm, I'm sorry. Like I said, I, I'll do whatever I got to do to make it right with Ligia. I'll do whatever I got to do to make it right with Ligia. You know, I was out there Friday making a video saying boom, boom, boom. And I said, yo, I apologize for using the word bitch. I apologize for using the F word. I apologize for acting like a savage. But when I heard that shit on Friday from somebody that I respect, they gave me a call and say, yo, this is this is really her, bro. Like, Yo, you know you fucked up with that. Like, yeah, yeah, the right, but yo, you was acting, you acting out of pocket. That's not you. You was acting like a fucking thug. You act like a little, like a little, like a little thugs on the street. Like, I am not one of thugs on the street. I don't act. I'm not a thug. I'm not a gangbanger. I'm not a bad boy. I'm a. I try to be myself a good guy. I try myself to do the right thing every day, and and we don't and we don't like it. Now going and this is why, like, when it happened today with me and you out there, I was like, yo, bro, chill out, chill out, because this shit ain't worth it. Right, the whole thing with the police and shit, shit ain't worth it. Cause if I, if I was, if I didn't I learn, I had, if I have that, like I said, be, be, I know you want to make your make your comment. If I didn't have that curve, that learning lesson, I would just told you like, bro, fuck these niggas, do what you gotta do. They can't do shit. Da da da. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was trying to hold you down. I was like, yo, bro, yeah. just 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 relax. These niggas should do their job. They had the permits, boom boom boom. But I was like, yo, I don't want to see you get locked up for some <laughs> bullshit today because it wasn't worth it. So I was like, yo, as a man. I, I fucked up. As a man, I apologize. I gotta take an L with that. I didn't win. I didn't win shit out of that that situation. I felt like I lost. I looked at like, yo, we ran that bitch. We ran out. We ran. Like I said, I'm not be worried about. It. It's like, yo, when I was acting, I say we ran out of Manhattan. Da da da. da. Oh, yeah. We ran to the station. We scared. We scared the crap out of her. Boom boom. We was acting so, up. We was acting crazy on Canal Street. Like, huh? But like in your solution that you that you're proposing, right? Yeah. Yeah. The thing is that. Um, there's one kind of community that kind of gets left out, right? Yeah. And the thing is that we think about it, right? And not, I don't want, I also love the immigrant community too, right? And yeah. Better, like, here, like, not necessarily like, because they're fleeing, like, you know, inhumane conditions or they have a dream, whatever. But the thing is that um, some of them really, um, what is it? <laughs> so I lost my train of thought. Yeah. The, immigrant, the, the ones who just came here, I was talking about them. But anybody in the chat right now? Shout out to Denique. Shout out to Denique. Shout out to Denique for being out there holding down today, by the way. Shout out to Denique for holding down today yesterday, man. Shout out to Denique Martinez, uh, man. Shout out to Denique. This was this is what it is. And the thing is that the people in the construction industry, I think they basically put out a statement recently saying that the influx of all of these migrants was going to negatively impact, right, their work because a lot of people are going to be, a lot of the construction companies will just go out and hire, you know, more labor that's available now. You know what I mean? Yeah, so the yeah, thing yeah. is that the people that are here legally, you know, they feel like they could be negatively impacted in certain industries, but not other industries. Yeah, right? speaking of, yeah. Like, and why is it specifically the delivery industry that's getting whacked, right? But you see other industries and you're like, well, you know, why why are they safe, but I'm not? So, yeah. Um, 
So speaking, but I think yes. that's really the solution that I would have because I also love that community. I would say really, like when you have gypsy cabs and stuff like that, just or like start making your own, find a way to do it on your own. Hell yeah. Where you don't rely on some exterior system like the, right, you said the lift or whatever these corporate solutions are. Make your own solution and Fuck start yeah. building your own community stuff. And, uh, you know, then you don't have to worry about that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, so speaking know? of speaking of construction, like before we get, before we go forward our next topic, and I want you to make your, I want you to give me your, as a friend, bro, as a friend, please be a friend. With this situation, because we gotta be men. I mean, about to pull in the show, be men. Um, so, uh, like I said, I like the secret construction. They do the work just product does construction. They do OSHA forty training for new immigrants, and I never disparage that. I never slander that, and I want anybody to say that I ever slander that. And I want you to bring me some facts. I want you to bring me some proof. I never slander that aspect of what they do with the immigrate with the with the OSHA forty training for tra training for um. For immigrants and migrants, um, the cleaning training, the job training, I never slandered that shit. I never slandered it. I never slandered her on that. The only thing I have, a, I had an issue was her thing with Los Doministos, right? That's the only thing I have an issue with, is how she handled Los Doministos. And like I said, people who call me up, people who say, like, yo, that's going to fuck her up. The Los Doministos um, part of the organization is going to mess her up in the long term because... The stuff that she's not, she's trying to push is going to be counterproductive to the city. And then if people start waking up to what's going on, they're going to get at her for that. So like I said, I will, like I said, I never smeared her work with the OSHA, OSHA training because everybody should get OSHA training. I think you should get, that shit should be for free. I don't think, I don't think there's really a valid way to attack that. Because yeah, you can't, you can't, but, the, but nigga, a person like me. You expect me to attack shit like that because I'm attacking her lost her nistos, but I'm not a type of person. I have my boundaries. I have a brain. I know how to use it. I know like, yo, you you wilding out with that when you saying stuff like that. But I wish I had that same that same filter for when I was acting like a fool all over Chinatown that Thursday. I wish I had that same filter, but I didn't. Because I got so caught up in the moment, I got so hyped, and I didn't even see what I was doing. I act like a damn savage. I act like a fool. I act like an idiot. A, a it doesn't little have to idiot. With you. It sounds like you went too far, but I know he was a good man. I know you give blood regularly. Yeah, um, I can't give blood to January. <laughs> you've been really solid. You know, you're an honest person. I've never had you like really, you know. Yeah, I, I did. I did take it too far, man. And I did. And I admit it to people right now. I did take it too far. And I said this in the last like five videos that I took it too far. And I'm willing to apologize to him public. Or anywhere I gotta do because I don't wanna be have that reputation like yo Chris is a demon Chris is Chris is a bad guy yo Chris is this type of dude with well, huh? right? yeah she'll let you know right what how what she what she wants so. yeah yeah but like I said but I don't want that reputation I know it might be to her but I don't want that reputation reputation like yo Chris is this but I must Chris do all the well, good work. Think about it. you know what I mean she probably gotta think about like what she wanna do you know yeah I mean? yeah I rather think about it but. <laughs> She could ask for this, she could ask for that. So. Yeah, of course, man. It's it's all it's all our hands. All, not my hands, all our hands. Like I said, like I said, I know God was God. I believe in God, man, and I believe in the karma system, and I believe in when you do evil shit, evil shit come back onto you. And then I do believe in making shit if right. I had a bad day, um, you know, you, I don't know if you ever heard anybody. I've never seen you. Seen, you're always nice to me. Yeah, man. And I like you, man. Thank you, know, you man. I, mean, I'm no, I don't wanna I'm not I'm a type of person against the violence. I, I stop the violence. We gotta stop the violence in New York City, man. I'm just gonna say that. I mean, like, huh? It doesn't change the way I feel about you. you know? Yeah, yeah, thank you, man. But like I said today, when we was out we was out there doing our thing, I had to let make sure you didn't do anything crazy because it's like, yo, these niggas a lot of fuck they out that security. I mean with the with the with the best of different topic with the Russian people. They they they, they unfortunately a big cost for them and they don't have to have that, right? They don't mess me up. Well yeah, there's man. also that killed they talk about they're really hyped up. Yeah, man, like I said, yo, I'm a man. Yeah, yeah. If they wanted they, to catch you, we got you right now. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I'm a man, and like I said, I admit my mistake. I, I admit what I did was wrong. I don't blame anybody in this situation but myself because either they other other dudes acted up. I could have never said that crap to her. I could never said like, yo, if I get if I see you, I'm a, I'm gonna fuck you. I I, sh I couldn't I couldn't have been the type of being quiet in this cover of shit. But I was being being a savage. I was being the nigga and trying to be be all involved and just like that. And I and I act out of pocket. 
So like I said, that's not my character. But like I said, whatever people see, that's how they're going to see it. And I like what I did on that Thursday, I can't take it back. I can't reverse the clock. I can't change that shit. I can't. I wish I could. Hmm? Exactly. Move on, you know what I mean? Yeah, move. I gotta move forward, and I hope for forgiveness, and I pray for forgiveness. I pray that she forgive me for what I did. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Whatever yeah. I do to get a forgiveness, or whatever I gotta do to get Lucas Galapi forgiveness, whatever I gotta do, I, I want to do that because I don't want that reputation. It doesn't matter, like, like huh? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll man. Yeah, for a lot, we just we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, but. Uh, that's what we are started right now. We stopped the first like 30 minutes with this topic. So, you know I mean, that's that's the reason why we came on. Uh, I said, I'm gonna kick it off with this the first 30 minutes of the show yeah, of, of what's going on. So, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna move to the next, huh? I respect that. I, you know, what I mean, I can see you have a lot of regret, and I respect that because you really talked about it. So, you know, I know you want, you know, that's that's honest, man. I, I believe you, you know, what I mean, so you really feel bad about it, and you want some time. I, I got you, bro. You know, what I mean? yeah, yeah, thanks, so, man. Thanks. But let's let's go to the next topic right now while we're here. Let me uh, let me see, I can do this. Let's go to the next topic, yeah. One of the things that we